So I'm going to talk about another crazy series. This one from uh, 1973 called Prez. Uh, I'm not going to get through it. There's four issues total. It was canceled. Um, but I'll go as, as long as I can for about 10 minutes and then stop. So this was also like... Um, Brother Power the Geek was also created or co-created by Joe Simon. Um, the other creator was uh, Jerry Gra Grandinetti. So a very strange series, but but Prez has managed to uh, kind of stick around in the DCU. Another character a little bit on the periphery. Um, he's an interesting character with a lot of potential, and I just... I don't know. I'll, I'll show as I go through it why I think that they failed. Um, so he's an 18-year-old, and this was um, sort of relating to what happened in 1971 when the, the uh, minimum voting age was lowered to 18 in the 26th Amendment. Um, but in this world, uh, they also lowered the age for elected officials, including President of the United States, to 18. So Prez, Prez Rickard... Um, is an 18 year old living in the in Steadfast, and Steadfast is a little. <laughs> it's it's kind of like the story already takes a fantasy bend uh, by the fact that Steadfast is filled with clocks, and every clock or almost every clock is a little bit off, and so apparently I think it says it takes about 11 minutes for all the clocks to chime because they're just not synchronized, and so. Um, Prez decides to take it upon himself to um, fix all the clocks. I, I kind of liked this moment where he says, I set my watch by the church steeple. I set mine by the town clock. And then it does this interesting little thing here where it fades out. And then the story kind of switches gears a little bit. I thought that was a clever move. Um, so there's uh, Prez out there fixing clocks. The reason his name is Prez is because Apparently, his mother had dreams of him one day becoming the president of the United States. Um, so we also have it was Central City, which I think is the city that The Flash is supposed to be in. Although I believe it establishes that this is not that this is an imaginary tale or today you would say it's it's uh, in a uh, in the part of the multiverse. And they kind of established that. The world of Prez is, is part of the multiverse, but separate. So we have a, the, the first villain here, and he is Boss Smiley. So he is the mayor, and he looks literally like a smiley face. And I don't believe that's a mask. That is, I believe, his face. So we're already getting a little bit silly with uh, with that villain. Kind of a, uh, almost like a Dick Tracy weird looking villain and um so he's boss smiley is working with this uh ad agency and they decide they want to they want to uh, run their own candidate and they're going to use uh prez rickard so and and that's a little bit interesting because that means that prez is sort of uh has the villains getting him as the president of the United States. And, and it would certainly make sense to use an ad agency um, to do that. So let's see here. I love all these old ads. <laughs> this is this is actually, uh, I usually, when I get these comics, I get reader copies. I bought this years ago. This is a pretty decent shaped comic, actually. So they brought Prez in. And um, now it's where it gets... Even stranger, we have this fellow named Eagle Free who's a Native American and dressed as a Native American, as a stereotypical Native American. And um, so I believe what Boss Smiley's plan is they're, they have a, a, a dam and I think they're going to blow it up and then his, his uh, company will rebuild it and then take the money. So they are clearly corrupt and uh, there is... Eagle Free with his animal friends, and they include, uh, looks like an ape, um, some monkeys. We have an elephant, but uh, basically we have animals that are clearly not from North America. So that's a little strange. Um, and uh, 
So they do blow up the bridge and uh, done to make it look like an accident. And so he, uh, Eagle Free and his animal friends rush towards them in a boat, which is meant to look like an ark, and then attack them. Okay. So Prez and Eagle Free get into a little bit of a battle. Uh, and Prez is kind of played off as a is extremely talented. And uh, so very intelligent, uh, physically gifted. And so he's uh, Eagle Free is kind of cluing him in on what he's what he's doing there with his animals and kind of protecting the land. And then they go through this weird little montage because apparently uh, uh, Eagle Free is almost a Tarzan type character in that he has uh, trained with the animals to become superhuman. Not superhuman, but like uh, kind of like Tarzan in that he is like the extreme of, of physical fitness. And so uh, Prez also decides to use uh, the training of the animals and... Um, I think he does it in just a few days. <laughs> so I guess that's to explain why later in there he seems to be quite, there they are, jumping, uh, quite physically gifted. So they are using their newfound skills to break in and find the evidence against Boss Smiley. Now, mind you, Boss Smiley has him running for the Senate as a senator. So... This is, I, I don't understand why, what they were thinking. So he, he runs as a senator, and then it's election day. Uh, all over the country, young voters turn out to elect their peers to national office. Um, and, uh, okay, he says, After the youth of America gained a majority in Congress, they voted in, uh, voted an amendment to the Constitution which would lower the required age of the president from 35 to 18 Senator, so he Senator Prez Rickard running on the new flower flower party ticket upset both the Republican and Democratic candidates to win the presidency after a truth and love campaign. Okay, I don't I don't know why they went this route because it's not like he was senator and then six years later ran for president. He's still 18, so he's a senator. And he wins the presidency. I don't know why they didn't just have him win, just run for president. And I think it would have been really interesting to watch the campaign. We never see him campaign at all. He just wins. So already I'm thinking they're kind of dropping the ball on this whole thing. Um, and so now he is the president and he makes uh, Eagle Free his FBI chief. And he says, and you as my vice president, he's looking at a shadowy figure. And um, then it says, let's see. Uh, Just call me Prez. By the way, I'll bet the reader can't guess who my vice president is. No, you would never guess because it's quite silly. <laughs> it's really, really, really silly. Um, so we get into issue two, and I'm just going to kind of briefly touch on it. Uh, we do get to find out who his vice president is. Can anybody guess who his vice president is? Um, oh, we show him. Apparently, he's really effective as president. And peace in our time. And so everyone loves... Uh, not, not everybody. So there obviously are politicians that are out to, um, to ruin him. And we come across uh, another character named Chessmaster. Chess King, and he is a extremely talented chess player. And um, then we get introduced to his vice president, which is his mom, named Martha. I didn't when I read this, I I had the impression it wasn't his mom, even though she does call him son. But he calls her Martha, so that's kind of weird that he's calling his mom by her first name. So um, he's playing chess with his mother with. Uh, Prez's mother and gets checkmate because he's a chess, chess master. And I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, 
the series just keeps getting weirder and weirder. And uh, we'll see later on just how weird it can get within just four issues.